If the kneecap or patella dislocates, it is almost always towards the lateral or outer side of the knee. The reason is that the structures that stabilize the patella on the inner side are relatively weak. In fact, the only two structures that stabilize the kneecap on the medial side are the MPFL and the VMO. The VMO is the vastus medialis obliquus, which is the lower part of the vastus medialis, which is one of the four components of the quadriceps muscle. The MPFL is the medial patellofemoral ligament, which is a relatively small ligament located under the muscle fibers of the VMO. Both structures protect the kneecap from lateral dislocation or subluxation. In case of a severe, laterally directed blow or contact onto the kneecap, the MPFL and the VMO may not be strong enough to hold the kneecap in place and withstand the force, so that the kneecap subluxes or dislocates laterally. What is the difference between a subluxation or a dislocation? Well, in a subluxation, the kneecap moves partially out of the trochlea, but instantaneously pops back into place. In a dislocation, the kneecap is out of the trochlea for some time, usually a few seconds or even minutes, until the knee is slowly brought in extension, by the patient or, gently, by somebody else, and then the kneecap spontaneously jumps back into place. You see that here. Once the kneecap has dislocated for the first time, you have a problem because there is an increased risk that the kneecap may dislocate again because of insufficiently strong healing of the MPFL. You then may develop what we call an unstable patella, where the kneecap keeps on dislocating or subluxing, sometimes even by a small twisting injury, as you can see here. Certain factors may increase this risk, such as young age at the first dislocation, high position of the kneecap, we call that patella alta, genetic hyperlaxity, undertreatment of the first dislocation, or weakness of the VMO muscle. Indeed, the stronger the VMO muscle, the more stable the kneecap will be. Therefore, VMO strengthening with specific exercises is so important here. Recurrent patellar dislocation is not only very annoying and painful, it also leads to progressive cartilage damage, as you can see here. That is the reason why it is often decided to reconstruct the MPFL surgically, so that recurrent dislocation and the risk for permanent cartilage damage can be avoided. Thank you for watching.